So this is Castro Bashes Canada by Jessica Murph Murphy, Parliamentary Bureau, Ottawa. Fidel Castro, Cuba's ailing former dictator, has written an article in which he blasts Canada and Prime Minister Stephen Harper. In an article published Sunday by a Cuban news agency, the 85-year-old calls out Harper and Canada for not taking sides in the thorny issue of the Falklands Islands dispute. Castro also takes issue with Canadian mining activities in Latin America. But he's not just critical of mining in the Southern Hemisphere. He singles out the Yankees, quote-unquote, for having, quote-unquote, forced Canada to extract bitumen, B-I-T-U-M-E-N, from Alberta's oil sands, causing irreparable damage to the environment of this beautiful and vast country. Castro also raised concerns over Canada's membership in the Organization of American States, noting Queen Elizabeth is our head of state and it's not clear whether Canada is a colony, a republic, or a monarchy. Castro did have kind words for brilliant and courageous late Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, who visited Cuba in the late in the 1970s. The Prime Minister's office had no comment on Castro's rambling rant. Castro also appeared to be smarting over the fact. The communist state is excluded from the upcoming summit of the Americas in Colombia. In the meandering essay, he mocks the fact that U.S. President Barack Obama could wear a diabera, a men's shirt worn in Latin America that Cuba claims as its own to the summit. The curious thing about this, dear readers, is that Cuba has been forbidden to attend that meeting, but not the Goyaberas, Castro wrote. Who could hold back from laughing? Right now, some key things we have to point out. One, that Castro is talking about this beautiful and vast country. Right? He's from the Southlands. Yeah. And he's saying that this is a beautiful, vast country. <laughs> he didn't excuse himself and he didn't exclude anybody else. Why? Because he's indigenous to this land. <laughs> right? He's not going to say that out of his mouth. I'm indigenous. Yeah. But if he but wasn't, if he wasn't, he wouldn't be making that claim, yeah. <laughs> right? So vast, so vast, <laughs> right? Like, right? Yeah. And the, right? And don't forget, don't forget that everybody's Moorish American. Yeah. That's why he said vast, because he's talking about the vast estate yeah. that the Prophet left for the Moors that he knows about nationality and birthrights and all that. That's why they don't, they don't rep Fidel. Mm -hmm. starting to realize that people's stupidity is becoming more and more evident. It's becoming very clear who's stupid and who's sane. Who you should talk to and who you should avoid at all costs. So, um, I don't know, sometime earlier today or something, six hours ago, six hours ago, James Bay, on Facebook post the question if you are born in Canada and live in Canada how can you be a Moorish American <clears throat> or would you be a Moorish Canadian now you can go to um, KhalifaMedia.com KhalifaMedia.com welcome to Canada. 
right? Because it's funny, you know, they're going to say America triple K and stuff, but not Canada triple K. Because they think up here is all, you know, everything's beautiful up here and there's no skinheads with swastikas tattooed on their titties up here. Right? They're up here too. <laughs> they're up here too. And they know that they're Irish, Scottish, and all that BS. They know that they're not no damn Canadian. Right? They know this, okay? Um, so Sharif An El Bey, who you know as, you know, one of the heads of the Ali's men's little club group or whatever. So he comes on there and he says, Land is not the determining factor for nationality. Political community affiliation is. The prophet Drew Ali is the founder of the Moorish Divine and National Movement and thus is the final word on such matters. No people are citizens, members of land. People are citizens, members of political communities called nations. So the term Moorish American as termed, understood and used by the prophet meant American citizens by way of Moorish ancestry. American citizens by way of Moorish ancestry. While their nation and government operates on geographic American soil, Mexicans are citizens of Mexico, thus descendants of Moroccans born in America. Oh, uh, descendants of Moroccans born in Mexico would properly be Moorish Mexicans. The same would apply to Canada. So in the terms of Noble Juali, Moorish American meant American citizens by way of Moorish ancestry. American citizens by way of Moorish ancestry. Now, if people are citizens of political communities called nations and cannot be citizens based on land, then you can't say that they're American citizens, first of all. Because American citizen implies America, which is land. Citizens by way of Moorish ancestry is because we are descendants of Moroccans. Born in America. Not born in North America or South America or Central America or the adjoining islands. Born in America. Descendants of Moroccans born in America. So we're Moroccans. Moorish American was a term for dumbass people who were caught in Christianity in the 1920s. But we're Moroccans. That's why our flag is a Moroccan flag. The red flag of five point green star is a Moroccan flag. If we say Moorish, that means pertaining to something. Pertaining to what? Pertaining to Moroccans. Now, This is March 25th, 2011, 1530 Markham Road, Toronto, Ontario. Before His Worship, Justice of the Peace, I.S. Chandhok. Case file number 4863-999-10-301-604-00. The Ontario Court of Justice. In the matter of the Provincial Offenses Act, Her Majesty the Queen versus Kevin S. McCletchy. Now, Her Majesty the Queen is the head of Canada. Kevin McCletchy is a Canadian. So Her Majesty has jurisdiction over Kevin McCletchy because Kevin McCletchy is a Canadian and Canada 
is a private foreign corporation owned by the Queen. So anybody that calls themselves Canadian in Canada is classified as a ward of the crown. This is not what we say, this is what Canada says. Just in case people want to keep playing this game like Moors are Canadian. Oh, excellent. Perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Hold on one second. So, they have this setup letting the people know that Her Majesty the Queen versus Kevin McCletchie, because Kevin McCletchie is a Canadian, but Canada is a private foreign European corporation. And people cannot be citizens of corporations. People cannot be citizens of Walmart. So if people are telling you that your nationality is what is Moorish Walmartian, they're playing you out your birthrights. So what I wanted to do was let's get somebody who's not even from here. Right? Who was told about Canada, the land of opportunity and stuff like that, come over here and then let's see how they identify it. Because, you know, you're not going to listen to your brothers and sisters here. Maybe you'll listen to the people who you claim, you know, brought you over here on a slave ship. They sold you in the gory um, slave stuff and brought you over here. All right, fine. We'll get one of those people to tell you about how they feel about Canada, what Canada is to them, and what their nationality is, and we'll see if, you know, this stresses the point, right? To, to the people who like to like comments made by clowns who wear feathers and turbans and try to pretend like they're somebody in the Moorish movement when years ago they abandoned the Great Seal and started doing all this BS that you see that's going around today that outside people are looking at the Moors thing laughing at ha ha look at the Moors they don't got their shit together or whatever those are, the, those are the, the cuff boys those aren't the legit Moors that's the Moors who were the infiltrators that you're supposed to be looking at them and laughing at them but back to Canada um, Islam more Islam like you're not gonna come up to me and try to harass me or muscle me or anything to intimidate me I know my indigenous rights, okay? And you're saying you're from Canada? Canada is a corporation on, on a piece of paper. If that's where you're from, if you, that's where your parents are from. You know what I mean? That makes you what? Like, the, like you just manifested out of nowhere? Like what nationality is Canada? You feel what I'm saying? So, anyways. Why are you stalking me? I'm with my son. Why are you stalking me? You're driving a motor vehicle. You're currently suspended. Uh Suspended from what? Driving. Driving what? A motor vehicle. A conveyance? Is, what's, what's, what's going on with my constitution? constitution. Huh? What's going on with my constitution rights? Leave me alone. Stop harassing me. Peace Officer Lambie, again, can I ask you why, why, why you're following me around? What, you just happened to see me from, 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 from my conveyance. You just happened to see me? I happened to see you driving that vehicle. Yeah, yeah how did you see me? Where did you see me from? Sorry? Where did you see me from? Grenoble. Grenoble? How, how many? How, you were behind me? Were you behind me? Yes. At what point? Yes. You were directly behind me? No. No? How many cars were you far back from behind me? Huh? Peace Officer Lambie, answer. Daryl, why don't you answer the question? Huh? Peace Officer Lambie, why don't you answer the question? Don't touch, don't... Why don't you answer the question? Why are you following me around? Harassing me? Huh? I'm not harassing. You're not harassing me. This is not harassment. Who gave you the authority to come, come follow me around? Regina? The queen? Your, your, your fake ass queen? Who, who told you? Huh? Who, do you who, who hired you? Who hired you? The attorney general? Excuse me? Incorporated. A private corporation. What does that have to do with indigenous people and their rights? What? Can I ask you a question, Lambie? What's your background? My background? I don't know what you mean. Your, 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 your parents, where are they from? Canada. Canada? Canada. 
How's Canada a place you come from a place on paper, a corporation? This is America, my friend. This is not Canada. Get it right. So, the the um, um let me just read the question to you, um, because you know somebody put the question on Facebook, and we just wanted to get the perspective from somebody who is Moorish American but isn't from this side Morocco to see what get where your perspective is. So the question is. If you are born in Canada and live in Canada, how can you be Moorish American or would you be Moorish Canadian? Yeah, that's an oxymoron. Moorish Canadian. All that stuff is an oxymoron. I can't, that, those things can't coexist. You know what I mean? Um, to be, to, 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 to be uh, a citizen, that means you're, you're just uh, a piece of paper. You know what I mean? Like, to the birth certificate fraud that we already know about, it's just fictitious on paper. No, but when, okay. No. Emotionalist. That's why it, it's really to, 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 to have you under control. And, 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 and to know your nationality and know that you're not Canadian, quote, quote unquote Canadian, is to know, is to have a power within yourself that a lot of people don't want it. I, I, like, as much as we could sit here and tell these people about their nationality, a lot of them are not ready to take take control. They still want to, they still want Jesus to, to, to drive the ship for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, um, you know, it's sad to say, but it is what it is. Well, I mean, many are called, but few have chosen. You know what I mean? You have to choose this. You know what I mean? Right. No, no. Okay. So, um, on this, on this note too, what you said before, um, about the birth certificate and, and the individual being on paper. Now, how, how did, because you're coming from a different perspective because of your national origin not being on this side. So, so how did the birth certificate apply to you with the name because you know sometimes they'll say well well you have an african name so you don't have to do anything you could just be no because right? the, the, same, the same fraud that's being run over here is being ran over there remember these guys are under the same fucking monarch like stop this stuff like you should have people should have common sense the same fraud is being run when those guys sat down and divided up the land you know what i mean So, so, so you, so, so you, are you, are you subscribing to, are you subscribing to your nationality being Moorish Canadian?
to the bank. Yeah, most of us can't get that cannabis. So <laughs> Yo, so, I know, yeah, I know you got... Yeah, I know, I'm, not, I'm not getting enough getting caught up, but I don't know. I think, like I said, a lot of people's lifestyle, you have to make adjustments to your lifestyle when you, when you, when you get into the, when you get nationalized. And again, I just feel like people in general are just who they are, yo. Like, you can lead them to, the, like, as they say, you can lead a horse to the world and you can't force them to drink, yo. Like, sure. Well, so it's like, yeah, you're not going to drink? I'm good, man. sense to know, well, hmm, if I'm in land that's not my own, the wisest thing is to get with the Aboriginal Indigenous people, because if anybody knows what's going on, it's them. Got with the Moors, declared his nationality, remember he has a name from over there, over here, he's Bay. went to court, Put all the videos online. Canaan Land Moors, my name is my name. Go watch them. Right? Puts everything out there. So everybody knows. But, you know. Remember, he beat his case. Case dismissed and all that stuff, you know. These guys want an example of a Moor that went to court and won using nationality card. Well, yeah, there's one. Like, Moorish American. Okay, so again, Queen has jurisdiction over her quote-unquote Canadians, which are property. Canada is part of North America. The country within North America is Mexico and Morocco. We know that this is Morocco. Because we know Washita history because there's mounds out here. And everybody knows the ancient mound builders were the Olmecs, who were the Washita, who were the Moors. So y'all fool us about we're some Canadian who started in 1867. How are we Aboriginal indigenous people, but we're calling ourselves something from 1867? And then Moors are back in that position. Moors are back in the position of the thing that started in 1867, we're going to go with that's what the identity of these people in that jurisdiction should be. When Canada, Canada, Canada comes from Canadigua. There's Canan, Canandigua, Canan, K-A-N-A-N, Canan. What's that? Canaan, Algonquin. There's Canandigua, New York, Canandigua Lake. There's Canandigua in Northwestern Territories. So we know that that, that name of Canaan was out here. 
If Canadigua is a name that's Aboriginal and Indigenous out here, and when you look at where did the name Canada comes from, Canandigua comes up as one of the names. Then up here is Canaan. Okay, if up here is Canaan, then clearly it's not Canada if up here is Canaan. But nah, they don't want to go with what Noble Drew Ali said. That we're the, we're, the old, we're the ancient Canaanites. They don't want to go with that. They want to go with their wards of the British crown. And you're telling me that these aren't dirty Moors? When they're trying to take all the Moors in Canaan land and put them under the jur jurisdiction of the Queen by calling them Moorish Canadian. Do you, do you really get what's being revealed in this time of the great revealing? Because the eclipse is a magnifying glass and you can't hide. You can't hide. Because it's the Aquarian age. Like everything's coming out. Like you can't hide. You can't lie and tell people that. People are going to use their common sense. Hold on a second. Canada's a corporation. Canada's Walmart. Can't be a Walmartian. I can't. It's just, it's just not possible. I don't care what you put in front of it. Moorish, Hebrew, ancient Egyptian, Kemetic, whatever. You can't be a Walmartian. You can't be that. And we're showing you in their records. Right? Because the story's still going. We're not done. To get you to understand that they know what the difference is. But you have to be the one to articulate that difference. Remember, this is their record. This is not more stuff. This is Canada's stuff right here. This is Canada's documentation that they know. It ain't no Moorish Canadian. But you're going to list some dirty Moors. Even corporate Canada knows Moorish American. We just, we just put the clip on TV. We just showed you the clip. They didn't say Noble Jwali said that they're Moorish, Moorish Canadian. That's the news out here. That's why we put it up. Because that's the news. All those cameras that you saw was every news station that was out that's out here. Everybody covered it. These people don't want to be more still. Faith was founded by this man, Noble Drew Ali, in 1913. Its main belief is that they are African Americans descended from North African Muslims, known as the Moors. Why would they cover it? Why would they think it's interesting to cover? Moors, cause they yeah, had heard about Moors in ever. Out here, that's news. I don't know where you're at. Where we're at, that's news. F factual news, because this is not something out of some storybook, history book in the University of Toronto, University of Ottawa, McMaster, or some BS. This is in their face standing in front of them with a fez on. And these individuals are going to take every single Moorish American in the jurisdiction of Canaan land and sell them out to the queen. Tell me that they're not dirty. They're not dirty. The people who took your name, took your name, gave you some other name, they're dirty. They're slave master and all that stuff. Okay. Your name's Moorish American. These guys took your name, Moorish American, give you a name, Moorish Canadian. That's putting you under the jurisdiction of the queen. And you really don't think that there's a problem with that for all the liker people on those comments. For all the people back in that position about Moorish Canadian. Right? So remember, the queen, her majesty, the queen, owns the Canadians. 
Anybody who says that they're Canadian, they're property of the Queen, known as a ward of the Crown. The Crown means the Queen. Ward of the Queen. If they said that, people would know what the hell's going on and they wouldn't be Canadian. Now at the bottom here, they say, Mr. Kudrow Arrow-L, ex-relation, Kevin McCletchy. Now why would they put ex-relation on their stuff? Why would they distinguish between Kudrow Arrow-L and Kevin McCletchy if there's not a difference between Moorish American and Moorish Canadian? Remember, this is their stuff. This is not Moorish documentation. There's the number. You can go check, call them up or whatever like that. Get your own copy. So you can see that these people are agents working for the other side trying to sell out your birthright like they've been doing. They just see that, you know, there's fresh meat in Canaan land. There's stupid moors out here too who just want to be free so bad that they're going to pay 5000 There's stupid moors everywhere. Right? Why would they say ex-relation? And make sure you go look up ex-relation so you can shove it in these people's face. And when they say a more went to court and that, that. here there's the there's the number so you can prove a more went to court put his status on the record and the record acknowledges the status that was put on the record how come they didn't just put appearances by Kevin McCletchy down there like they always do with every Negro black colored whoever else that goes to court why and then how come if this is the Queen versus a Moorish Canadian, how come throughout the transcript, all they're showing throughout the whole transcript is Mr. Kudrow Otto L, which is a Moorish American, not a Moorish Canadian. It should be saying Kevin McCletchy through all these papers. All these pages should be saying Kevin McCletchy on them, not Kudrow. Why would it say Kudrow if Kudrow is not the one who the Queen is versus? If the Queen is versus, Kevin McCletchy, right? If the Queen is versus that entity, then that entity should be the one that's listed in the transcripts. But why are they not listing? Why are they not listing Kevin McCletchy ever? Because status was put on the record. First issue, status. And the status is Moorish American, not Moorish Canadian. So you can listen to people who pretend to be stuff and get knocked out and stuff like that. Or you can get with people who be what they know. You can get down with the people who are in the name of the Moors. We're going to have pedophile supreme grand sheiks you know in our corner and stuff like that you're gonna ride with that the mores that are doing good you're talking BS mores that are right you got something to say but the mores that are doing wayward stuff that has other people looking at the mores like oh look at the board the boards or whatever you're not doing, you're not saying nothing about them dirty people. You're just going to join in the dirtiness. Well, take clear note that Moors who are affiliated with Canaan land, Moors that are affiliated with Canaan land, we've been in our lane of Great Seal, Moors Order of the Round Table, RV Bay Publications, Washita, etc. We've been in our lane. And give honors where, where we think honors are due. Yeah, anybody who says they're Moorish leaders getting honors from Canaan land. Because we know you Moors dirty. We have all the records to show. We have your stupid messages on Facebook. Trying to prove that you're somebody when you're not even out here. Well you know about Moorish anything in Canaan land. And you're not even here. This is a divine group of beings. Indigenous Moorish American natural being that's who we are 
right? This is a divine group of beings, indigenous Moorish American, natural being, that's who we are, right? This is a divine group of beings, indigenous Moorish American, natural being, that's who we are, right? This is a divine group of beings, indigenous Moorish American, natural being, that's who we are. Right. The Moorish Americans have 30 members here in Toronto. The Moorish Americans have 30 members here in Toronto. The Moorish Americans have 30 members here in Toronto.